In this problem, we have a jug of water that has a hole at 0.107 meters from the water line on the jug. We fill the jug to the water line and let the water flow out through the hole. We want to find the velocity of the water that is coming out of the hole in the jug. We will refer to the top of the water line as point 0.1 and the point where the water is coming out of the hole as point 0.2. We will be using the Bernoulli equation, which is an equation that adds up the pressure energy to the potential energy to the kinetic energy of the fluid to get the total energy in the fluid. We will assume that energy is conserved. This means that the energy at point one equals the energy at point two. So we can set the Bernoulli equation at point one equal to the Bernoulli equation at point two. We first notice that the only pressure acting on the system is atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is on both sides of the equation, so it gets canceled out and removed. Next, we notice that at point 1, there is no kinetic energy, and at point 2, there is no potential energy. So the kinetic energy portion of the equation is eliminated from the point 1 side of the equation, and the potential energy portion of the equation is eliminated from the point 2 side of the equation. This leaves us with an equation that states that the potential energy at point 1 is turned into kinetic energy at point 2. Due to the density of water being the same on both sides of the equation, it gets canceled out and removed as well. We now are left with the acceleration due to gravity times the height of the water line to the center of the hole being equal to one half the velocity at point two squared. Rearranging the formula using algebra, we get that the square root of two times gravity times the height of the water line to the hole the water is going through being equal to the velocity at point two or the velocity of the water coming out of the hole. Plugging in gravity of 9.81 meters per second per second in the height from the water line to the hole of 0.107 meters into the equation, we get a velocity of 1.45 meters per second. Note, the Bernoulli equation is assuming no friction, no heat loss due to friction, and no viscosity of the fluid. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.